What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Yoast Yeah, and I hope you're not doing well because Chelsea have just qualified into the knockout rounds of the Champions League. Absolute superb scenes at home at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea get their first win in the Champions League at home under Frank Lampard. Oh, mental. Sure, I might have lost another inch on my hairline and nearly had a heart attack at certain parts near the end of that game, but Chelsea do it 2-1. Yes. I'm going to get into how this game went down, some notable talking points. Make sure you do subscribe to Football Therapy, hit the bell notifications icon. I'm going to plug it as well. If you want to watch me play FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode, click the link in the top of the description. Let's get into it. All right, to walk you through it, I'm going to open up the analysis screen. Boom, next to me you can see the Who Scored Match Center for this match to offer you statistics. Frank Lampard fielded a 4-3-3 as opposed to his 4-2-3-1. Notable inclusions are Antonio Rudiger coming back into the side, offering some much needed defensive solidity. He's partnered by Zuma with Emerson and Azpi as the fullbacks. Lampard goes for his controlling midfield free of Kovacic, Jorginho and N'Golo Kante. The front three consists of the usual trio, Tammy Abraham, Willian and Christian Pulisic. Lille field a kind of rotated weak inside I guess, but they do have a familiar face up front in Loic Remy, former Chelsea striker who would come back to Haunt Chelsea. Chelsea start the better side, but their first real big chance comes in the 10th minute. Tammy brings a ball down on his chest and plays it off to Christian Pulisic, who are combining better and better these days, but Pulisic drags it a bit wide. But it's nice to see them two get better chemistry on the pitch, kind of like Tammy already has with Mason Mount. 15th minute, the little keeper makes an excellent save from an Emerson strike. It comes after a decent passage of play from Chelsea, but the finish, not quite wide enough, but still a good save. In the 17th minute I love this Kante volleys an effort inches wide of the bottom left hand side of the goal post so frustrating but it's after another excellent passage of attacking play from Chelsea it only takes two more minutes for Chelsea to capitalize off these positive passages of offensive play Tammy Abraham taps in for a goal off a Willian cutback off a really good Chelsea combination making it 1-0 at Stamford Bridge the game sort of dips a little bit Lille aren't really settled into the game and not much happens for a little while but in the 32nd minute, Christian Pulisic does a wicked little slalom run in the Lille area. He ends up teeing up Tammy Abraham, but the shot gets blocked. But it's showing a bit of what Christian Pulisic is all about. Right, so three minutes later, Chelsea make it 2-0. Aspi heads home off an Emerson corner. It's a really nice header, really nice goal, but something really notable here. Chelsea scores this set-piece goal, mainly because of what Rudiger's doing, how he's leading off a Lille defender and basically Aspi gets a free run. Aspi finished the goal, excellent header, but what Rudiger did in that set piece can't be understated. To be honest man, generally Chelsea looked different gravy with Rudiger in the side. <laughs> and the final 10 minutes of the first half consist of a succession of Chelsea corners and Kurt Zuma receiving yellow card for absolutely nothing. So half time Chelsea score their goals 2-0 and come the second half there's no changes at the break. Chelsea come out swinging in the second half and they see shots saved from both Pulisic and Willian as they batter the Lille goal. And in the 49th minute Willian hits a free kick that's actually pretty decent and he sees that saved as well. Can Chelsea keep up this pressure? Uh, we'll find out. I mean you already know but you know what I'm saying. To be honest at this point in the half Chelsea are really turning it on in the combinations all the way up to sort of the 57 of 60 minutes I was taking notes and I was like damn these offensive combinations are getting really really good. If they played like this in the Premier League more regardless to the opposition Lille aren't that strong I get it but if they played like that more with that confidence they'd win more games. It's all a mentality thing with Chelsea. They've got the talent. It very much, very much is all psychological. In the sort of 57th minute as well, time stops in front of the Lille goal where both Tammy and Willian, they get the ball, they're sort of passing it to each other, they're holding it, but they don't finish the chance and the Basically, the shot ends up getting blocked. 62nd minute, Pulisic makes way for Callum hudson Doy, And to be honest, Pulisic's had a pretty darn good game. The next few minutes, Lille with a couple of corners, two or three corners and a succession, I guess, in a few minutes. But they didn't do anything with it. Really poor delivery. And the fans are cheering the corners because they're actually doing something. But they're not doing anything with the corners. 71st minute, Tammy makes way for Mishy. He's got his goal, he's done his job. That's why he comes on. Lille are forced into a goalkeeper substitution. And as soon as he comes on, he actually makes a pretty darn good save from Kovacic who whips in a shot that he has to get down quickly for so yeah 
cover yeah, scores goals now, didn't he? Right, this is a notable mention. And in the 75th minute, Zuma makes an excellent slide tackle in the Chelsea penalty area after a little break. Basically, a, a chance preventing tackle. Super, super good from the Frenchman. And then in the 78th minute, it happens. Of course, it's Loic Remy. He was pretty bad for Chelsea, but damn, man. He whips in a shot that goes in underneath the crossbar with serious venom. Nothing Kepa can do about it, so you can't really blame the keeper. But damn, that shot was that was a good goal from Remy. Textbook, it was him. 2-1. Squeaky bum time. Stamford Bridge fills with nerves as Lille essentially gained more confidence and they're starting to come forwards a little bit. And this is what I'm talking about with the mentality thing with Chelsea. 82nd minute, a very tired Kovacic makes way for a young and sprightly Mason Mount. In the 88th minute, this started a heart attack for me. Batshuayi turns, he gets the ball down, he fires the ball just over the crossbar. It would have put the game to bed, but he missed it. I've been sweating all over the gaff at this point. Chelsea enter five minutes stoppage time and Lille get a breakaway. Oh my God, I'm thinking my heart's going. I'm stepping away from the screen. I'm like, is this the moment? Remy again. He takes a shot. He sees, he sees the shot on goal. He pops it. Bit of a weak shot into Kepa's arms. Thank you so much, Kepa and Chelsea, for not taking more years off my life due to nerves. <laughs> Chelsea see out the remainder of the stoppage time and qualify out of the group stages in the Champions League in what is an absolutely mental group in Group H. It's been thoroughly entertaining. Madness, really. Chelsea get through. Let's get rid of the analysis screen. <laughs> Right, so a mental group. Valencia won away in the Ohan Cruyff Arena. Ajax, who were looking like favourites to top the group, are down in the Europa League. Chelsea and Valencia qualify. Absolutely mental. So let's talk about player performances. I think Kepa was okay. The goal he couldn't have done anything about. I suppose he wasn't really tested much more in open play. Both centre-backs were very, very good, actually. I know they had moments of brilliance in both of them. And both full-backs were good because they were brought into action loads, always combining. The midfield was really, really decent, but the standout player was N'Golo Kante because he was good defensively, but he does more offensive work than he does defensive work now, constantly combining on the right-hand side with Willian and the striker and the midfielders. He was superb. Obviously, Aspie got the goal as well, so shout out for that. Tammy Abraham, very good, got his goal, uh, made good runs, was a bit frustrated at times, as he often is, but he's so passionate and immersed within each and every game, so that's cool. But yeah, he was very good for me, you know, could have been slightly better, but decent, all things considered, and the pressures of the game. Pulisic, before he came off, was very, very good in my opinion, the way he combined. Even just before he was taken off, he nearly set up Tammy, or he set up Tammy for what would have, or should have been a goal. So right until he got taken off, he was really, really good. Hudson the door obviously came on for him, and he was quite disappointing. But I've maintained this before, coming on as a sub can be very difficult. I feel like Hudson Adoy needs to start some games and get the rhythm. But yeah, he wasn't very good when he came on. Willian was really, really good, man. He, he's in his 30s now. I've turned 30. The, the fact how this man can just keep running constantly, 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 always be an outlet, always be an outlet, always see loads of the ball. Sure, people criticise Willian for not scoring or assisting, but he's just probably sees the most amount of the ball that's not a midfielder in the side. It's absolutely crazy the amount he sees. Very, very good combining with Azpilicueta and N'Golo Kante and Tammy Abraham. That's why a bit disappointing. Well, maybe. I don't know. If he scored that goal, he just does what he does best. Takes it, whips it round, scores with his left foot. Nearly did that again today. But, I don't know, I can't really judge them too badly. So Chelsea do it, man. They've qualified out of the group stages. That alone would have been seen as a success for Frank Lampard in terms of his European campaign. Because of all the things that's going on at Chelsea and the players he's using and the new project and without bring, being able to bring in his own players and being a new coach himself, man. If you take into consideration how mental Group H was as well, it's a superb achievement and anything now for Chelsea really is a free hit. If you look at how Ajax performed, they were excellent. They were no weaker after losing Matthias De Ligt and Frankie De Jong. In terms of their performances with, you know, Quincy Promise, Nere, Ziyech, Tadic, all these players, Van Der Beek, like literally I can list so many Ajax players' names because they're so, so good and they were excellent in this campaign. Valencia were really, really surprising in terms of what they could do. As you could see, they won away in the Johan Cruyff Arena. And even Lille, I know they were the whipping boys of this group, but in all of their games, not just like Chelsea at home and away, 
in all of their games, they show that at moments they can be very, very dangerous. So Group H was very entertaining, and who knows what's next for Chelsea in the Champions League. But like I said, it's a bit of a free hit, really. The boys did what they needed to do. They got out, they faced adversity, they faced difficulties, especially losing at home on the opening day. Frank Lampard passed the test, so did the youngsters. Happy days, awesome scenes, lovely times. <laughs> anyway, what do you guys think? What do you think of the game? Get down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. How far do you think Chelsea can go in the Champions League this season? Who would you like to draw in the next round? Get down in the comments. Let me know. If you've enjoyed the content today, guys, remember to like the video and subscribe to Football Therapy if you are indeed new. And make sure you go check out Yam Plays and subscribe to that. I'm going to go and have a heart attack now, so you lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick, got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.